recent WTO publication stated that an increasing number of emerging economies have switched to investing in tourism development by making modern tourism a key driver of socio-economic progress. The sector is creating mass opportunities of job and enterprises and infrastructure development to countries. Between 2010 and 2040, arrivals in emerging economies are expected to increase at a double rate, having a 4% growth a year. As a result, the market share of emerging economies has increased from 30% in 1980 to 47% in 2011 and expected to reach 57% by 2030, equivalent to over 1 billion international tourist arrivals. Africa is home to some of the fastest growing economies in the world and tourism is increasingly attracting regional and international investors and return on investments in this sector remain among the highest in the world. Cognizant of this, global hotel chains are expanding across Africa and developers are committing millions of dollars to new products over the next few years. While Africa accounts for 15% of the world population, it only receives about 3% of world tourism. International tourism in Africa has been growing steadily in recent years. In 2013, Africa received 56 million tourists, up from 26 million at the start of the millennium. International tourism generates $34 billion in exports in Africa, accounting for as much as 7% of all the exports and 56% of the region's service exports. Many governments agree that the country's tourism sector has the right impetus for growth and contributing to Africa's comparative advantage to determine the optimal tourism development strategy. Given this background, Africa, as home of the seven fast emerging economies, is exerting much efforts to boost up its tourism sector as a key driver of its economy. As a key driver of tourism sector, hotel investment is growing in Africa at an unprecedented rate involving big international enterprises in the sector. Africa started to host the annual African Hotel Investment Forum in Morocco in 2011, and since then the forum has attracted the attention of the international community, especially those mega forums in the sector. Nairobi, Kenya has been home to this big forum for the last two years, and this year the forum changed its direction to the capital of the continent, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, which recently hosted the fourth edition of the event. The forum has brought together serious players that drive investment, infrastructure and hotel investment across Africa. Over the past three years, the forum converged on key industry individuals all sharing common interests that is driving tourism and hotel investment across the continent. Opening the forum, Prime Minister Haile Mariam Dessalin took high note on the importance of such states to develop the sector. Sector focused regional forums like the one we have today are very important in creating a joint platform for all stakeholders in the sector to exchange ideas, views, technology, systems and partnerships which play an important role in the promotion of the hospitality industry in Ethiopia and at the continental scale in Africa. We hope that this forum will serve as an information knowledge and experience platform to share tourist attractions, hotel investments, service facilities of respective countries, and much more in the value chain of the sector, which play a positive role to transform the hospitality and tourism industry. Bench Evans is the body in charge of organizing the annual forum. Well, the forum has been a great success. Um, the numbers have grown this year to over 500 delegates, including investors, owners, developers, which have been a really strong uh, section of the audience, operators, um, as you can see from the, the, the sponsors, we have 37 sponsors this year as well so it's been a really productive business meeting I think it's um, been a wonderful experience to be in Ethiopia for the first time and uh, we've been very very pleased with the results we reached a point uh, about four months ago where we had 24 sponsors and we knew that we were obviously with the potential of getting 30 plus 40 perhaps sponsors running out of space in the hotel. 
So we knew of this hotel and we took a little bit of a risk in moving the event quite late on. But it's, it's paid off. It's, it's meant that the event has grow, grown in people's eyes and it means that we have established ourselves as the, the leading event in the African continent. Hosting the event for the first time, Ethiopia has exerted maximum efforts to make the forum a success. Continued effort of the African Hotel Investment Forum will provide a platform and opportunity of our esteemed private sector to meet many prominent international hotel brands, investors, management companies, and consultants to make a successful hotel investment ventures. And I hope all will find out feasible to consider Ethiopia. The 2014 African Hotel Investment Forum has 550 participants from around the world. Calibra Hospitality and Consultancy, an Ethiopian-based firm, has actively participated in the efforts to make the event a success. This forum has really been really a, a great success so far, just in line with what has really happened. And definitely, this is this kind of forum is something that I'm being encouraged to really happen on a yearly basis in Ethiopia. So, overall, it has really been uh, happening. All, all stakeholders and I did also manage to really speak with some of hotel developers, some hotel owners who have been actively playing in this market in Ethiopia. All I could say have really been uh, happy uh, for getting this opportunity to really meet and mix with all the key industry leaders in the world. A move to make much out of the sector, Ethiopia has established a national tourism organization this year. Chief Executive Officer of the organization, Solomon Tadessa, believes in the importance of such forms. Uh, I see this forum as having two enormous benefits for the country. The first one is the forum could show how much the country is progressing economically, especially over the last 10 consecutive years. Addis Ababa has become center for conference tourism. There are many big firms who took part in this forum, so we also build the image of our country. The second advantage is that these firms with big brands would inspire local investors in the sector. Big firms in the sector like Starwood Hotels and Resorts Worldwide, Hilton International, Marriott International and Windham Hotel Group were among the renowned hotels who attended the forum. Windham International Hotel Group has managed to sign a management agreement with ADM Business PLC for its first hotel in Ethiopia that go by the name Ramada. While signing the agreement, Bani Haddad, Regional Vice President for Middle East and Africa, said his organization is proud to open this hotel in one of the fastest growing cities in the continent. The day this hotel will open, it will be seen by millions of people around the world. Uh, and automatically it will attract attention and awareness about Ethiopia and Addis Ababa. So that's, that's the first thing, uh, obviously, which, will, uh, which we're very keen on and we're very happy to be participating uh, in this. The second thing is uh, obviously uh, the creation of uh, jobs uh, for the country. Uh, and that's obviously extremely important when the economy is developing so fast. Uh, the third thing, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't only take to open a hotel. Uh, it's, it's extremely important, we think, to open a hotel uh, in a professional way with a strong brand, uh, bringing in uh, a know-how and passing this know-how uh, to the local population. Marriott International has plans to bring courtyard Marriott and executive apartments in Addis Ababa in 2015. Africa is hugely important to Marriott International and we are the only global hotel chain that made a major commitment in 2014 to acquire Protea, which is a, an African-based hotel company of 112 hotels, which we acquired in April of this year, which really makes us now the largest hotel operator in Africa, with 120 operating hotels in 10 countries and a pipeline of 27 hotels and a further 5,000 rooms that will take us to 17 countries in Africa. Here in Ethiopia we are delighted to have announced of course the building and next year opening of the Marriott Executive Apartments and also a courtyard by Marriott that's under development. Participants representing different African countries believe 
Such events have immense role to boost the continent's hot tourism sector. We came here two ways. <clears throat> one, to market our country, Zambia. And the second one is to find investors for a number of investment opportunities that we have back in Zambia in order to improve our tourism offerings. What is fruitful? Very fruitful. We have had some meetings. We've had uh, meetings with the possible investors uh, that would like to come to Zambia. But also, the good thing you might like to know is that we've talked to a number of Ethiopian businesses who are very much involved in hotels uh, uh, development and are looking at the rest of Africa and would like them to come to Zambia. We've had a very good Ethiopian community in Zambia and uh, we look forward to having Ethiopian businesses in Zambia. For, for us, tourism is critical because to us, tourism is at the center of everything we do because of the effect it has on employment and uh, uh, resource utilization. So to us, we want to grow it, we want to increase our bed capacity, we want to diversify our markets so that we, we, have, we have better trade because the more, the more tourists who come, the better trade you have. We made very good deals, met uh, a, a lot of prospective investors for our country. But uh, talking as an African, I'm happy that the forum has come it's still in Africa and it, it's going to benefit all of us. The forum has also served as a platform to meet with big global enterprises in the sector. Here at the forum there are people who are investors, who are designers, who are architects, who are also tour operators and, and actual convention and exhibition managers, which is what we need after the construction because once this, this, uh, this uh, convention and exhibition center is finished, we need to fill those convention centers, which means we have to think about who the event organizers are from international, because we have to bring international inbound exhibitions and conferences, because this is world-class convention center, and it's not going to be just for domestic consumption, it's for international as well. This forum brings all uh, major uh, uh, role players from the hotel sector, like the management companies of Accor, Starwood, Intercontinental, you name it, all the big ones like Kempinski, all of them uh, resident, all of them are here. And uh, the fact that they come here to f for the first time to put their uh, uh, investment forum here, organized here, will give us a very good chance of exposure for our country so that uh, other uh, investors also will follow on their track and then again as also the people investing in the hotel sector we get to meet all these people in one place which you normally have to travel all over the world to meet and they give you sufficient time to discuss because they are here for this purpose there are also people in the banking sector willing to discuss about uh, loan arrangements and that all will help uh, in the uh, image building and it will also actually help in the people in the hotel industry here. Addis Ababa, which successfully hosted this grand event for the first time, will be home to five new hotels including Crown Plaza, Ramada, Marriott, Best Western and Best Western Plus, and Paul Mann. Addis Ababa has warmly welcomed its visitors who shared us their reflections on the city. I've been here a few times before. It's very big, very good and it's improving by the day. Uh, every time I come here I see a different Addis very friendly people and uh, truly everything seems well organized in the even in the midst of traffic nobody's in a hurry there's no road rage so it's an impressive city so this is my third time to Addis and of course this time because I've come down the mountain to Addis I don't have the uh, the altitude sickness to deal with so I'm I'm a much better for it so thank you yes I love it uh, it's a very nice place, very hilly, very cold now, but I love it. I think I'll be back. I'm delighted to say this is my fourth time coming back to Addis Ababa. Uh, I love the city, I love the country. This is one of the fastest growing economies, as we know, in Africa and in the world. 
and we see tremendous potential in Ethiopia. Of course, initially in the major cities, but over time in the secondary cities, especially as more toll roads and more infrastructure are developed by government right across the country. With the booming hotel investment and service sector, Africa has stepped efforts to make the sector a key driver of socio-economic development. What is happening in Ethiopia is not different. The country is making every preparation to host big international hotel groups. Come and invest in Ethiopia. The cradle of mankind, the origin of coffee, an ancient civilization with a rich political history of fighting colonialism and defeating it. The country which is the political and diplomatic center of Africa and the headquarter of the African Union.